Hey guys, I'm back and oh my god, I'm so happy to be here and be able to video these. I finally have the time to sit down and talk to you guys and film for you guys and just sit here and finally do it because I graduated cosmetology school so I have all the time in the world now. I can literally just sit here and film all day and not have to worry about anything. All the stress is gone. I can do things now. Oh gosh, it's, it's great to finally be able to film for you guys because I know I've been slacking and I'm really sorry for that and I really do want to get these videos out here for you guys. I have videos ready to film and I'm going to start pre-filming too so that I will have videos to upload if I am sick or something or if something does come up. So I really want to get these videos out here for you guys and get started with this YouTube career that I really, really want. And so I'm hoping I can be on this journey with you guys, and I'm so excited that I finally have the time to do that with you guys. But let me stop gibbering and get into what this video actually is, and this video is to for me to show you this look. And I am doing a winter look that you guys could wear to literally to like any formal event you have. If you have a winter Christmas party you want to go to, or like you can you could probably even rock this on New Year's, girl. Like do what you gotta do. So I'm just going to show you this Christmas look and this Christmas makeup look that you guys can do and I hope you guys really enjoy so please keep watching. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by priming my face and I'm going to use the Matchbox Photo Finish Primer. For foundation today I'm going to use my Tarte Clay Stick I'm going to use it in the shade Fair Beige. I'm gonna go with my Tarte um, Shape Tape. This is my favorite concealer ever. And I'm just gonna put it under my eyes, you know, down my nose, on my chin, open on my forehead, you know, the usual, and then blend that out with a beauty blender as well. go and I'm going to bake using my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. And for the eyes, I'm going to be using my Huda palettes. I'm going to use first off the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. And I'm going to start off by taking the shade Saffron and putting that all over my crease. Now I'm going to go in my Huda Beauty Mob Obsessions palette and I'm going to take the plum shade and put that all over my crease and outer corner as well. Now taking a smaller brush, I'm gonna take this raspberry color and put that only on the outer corner. a blending brush and just blend that out a little bit more. Taking that same raspberry color, I'm going to put it on my lower lash line. Okay, now going into the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette, I'm going to take this um, rose gold type of shade and I'm going to take a packing brush and pack that all over my lid. Okay, now I'm going to take my Heavy Metal Urban Decay Glitter in the shade Midnight Cowboy, which is just a nice gold shade. I'm going to put that all over my lid and the inner corner. Now 
Next, I'm going to go in with a black liquid liner. I'm using my Urban Decay one, and I'm going to make a very, very thin line just over like my top lash line. Now I'm just going to take a regular black eyeliner pencil and I'm using the Urban Decay one also and I'm just going to line my waterline. Now I'm going to add some bottom and top mascara. Now moving on to brows, I'm just going to use my Anastasia products like always and just fill them in. Okay, now to top off my brows and set them in place, I'm going to go with my NYX colored mascara, and I'm using like, I think this is the light shade they have, but it's the blonde shade. I don't think they have like a light blonde or anything, I think, I think it's just blonde, but I'm just going to put that on top of the brows just to set them in place and to add a little bit more dimension, because I use a soft brown color to fill my brows in, so adding a lighter color on top gives it more dimensions and gives it like so you can see the individual hairs. Now I'm just going to go ahead and wipe away my translucent powder and set it more into my face. And now I'm going to go in and contour and bronze my face and I'm using my Becca, um, Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the shade Capri Coast. a small brush I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Skin um, palette and I'm going to take the second to darkest shade and I'm just going to put that underneath my lip and contour out my nose a little bit and blend it a little bit with my finger because I don't know that's just something I always do. I'm using a Tarte blush and this is in the shade Party and I'm just going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks. And I decided I want to go in and deepen up my contour a little bit so I'm going to take that same shade from the Naked Skin palette and just contour a little bit more to deepen it up and give me a really chiseled out look. I'm going to go ahead and highlight and to highlight I always spray my brush so it's wet picking up the product and it makes the product more pigmented. I'm using my Anastasia Glow Kit as always and I'm going in with the shade Snow. Taking a smaller brush I'm going to do the same thing and apply it to my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, down the bridge of my nose, and to my brow bow. Now 
I'm going to go ahead and apply false lashes. I'm just going to be using my Eyelore ones. I really only use Eyelore lashes and Ardell lashes. I don't, I have like a specific reason why. It's just the ones that I prefer. And I'm going to use my Duo Glue and I use Hypo, the hypoallergenic one because it is by far the best glue I have ever found for lashes. Now I'm just going to go back in with my Buxom Mascara. And then to finish off the look, I'm going to go in with my Huda Pink Edition little lipsticks. And I'm going to use the shade Trophy Wife and apply that all over my lips. Finally, I'm going to set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. So this is the final look, you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I will leave the products, as always, in the description box down below. So please like and give this video a huge thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video.